Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to use On One Photo Raw as a plugin through Adobe Photoshop. So I've opened up this image in Photoshop and I'm just gonna make sure that I have this layer selected. This is really important if you have multiple layers, you want to make sure the layer that you have selected is the one that you want to take into On One Photo Raw. So I'm gonna take this layer into On One Photo Raw. I'm gonna to go to the File menu. I'm gonna to go to Automate. And then we have all of the different options that we had before in Lightroom. We have On One Effects 2025, On One Portrait AI 2025, Resize AI, Develop. I'm just going to, again, go to On One Effects 2025. It's going to open up on one photo raw 2025 and it's going to open up the image into the effects tab here. But keep in mind, you can go into develop, you can go into these different tabs. So let's go into the develop actually and just pull up on the midtones just a little bit. From there, let's just style the image. Let's maybe use a vignette. We'll use a bit of sunshine. And then maybe let's use the vintage filter. We'll see if we can't find a cool vibe for this image. I actually kind of like this oatmeal one and we'll just lower the opacity a bit to give it sort of a warm feel. And let's actually add in a curves filter. I'll just boost up the midtones a little bit more. So we've styled the photograph, everything looks good. To go back into Photoshop with our newly modified image, we'll just choose this little check mark down here. So we're back into Photoshop here and we have our modified On One Effects layer that we took into On One Photo Raw. And then we have the original. Now I'm just gonna delete this here and I'm gonna show you how you can batch process instead of On One Photo Raw in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna need to create an action. So to create an action in Photoshop, we're gonna to go to this little play icon here. I'm gonna select this and let's just create a new action by clicking on this little icon here. For our action, let's just name this creative color grading. And I'm gonna choose record. So now it's going to record my actions as I go into On One Photo Raw and modify the look of my image. So let's grab this image here. We'll go to File, Automate. We'll go to On One Effects 2025. We'll take us into the Effects tab instead of On One Photo Raw 2025. Now it's remembering those settings that we had applied earlier, but I don't want these settings applied. So let's just add on some new settings here and let's use LUTs. See if we can't find maybe a cool color grading LUT in here. Oh, I kind of like that one. We'll use this one, also maybe use a vignette there, and then a little bit of sunshine. And let's just pull the amount up a little bit more. So that's kind of looking pretty cool. We have the backslash key on the keyboard. It's looking pretty good. So this is going to be our creative color grading style when we batch process. So let's just use that blue check mark again to accept the edit and head back into Photoshop. So we're back into Photoshop here. We have our newly modified on one effects layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our actions here and we're going to stop the recording. So now we've created our creative color grading action. So what we need to do now to batch process is we can just go to file, automate, and we're gonna choose batch. In this batch dialog here, we're gonna choose the action that we want. And it's already selected the latest action, which is that creative color grading. From there, we're gonna choose a specific folder of images. I'll just choose this one that I have there. And after that, let's choose a specific destination. So I'll choose a specific folder. And we'll just choose that same folder that we had. And from there, all we have to do to batch process is just choose okay. It will then take all of those images within that folder, and it will apply those same filters to those images that we applied inside of On One Photo Raw 2025. So it's that easy to batch process. Remember to create an action first, record yourself applying the adjustments inside of On One Photo Raw, stop the action, and then you can use that action in here inside of batch processing.